So I've been telling people for quite some time to pray for Kevin because I've seen it. I've seen his situation and I'm still concerned because I was just talking last week to a couple friends saying pray for Kevin. I heard his conversation and what he said to his homie. I heard it. I heard it loud and clear. He was on his live. Not a whole lot of people were on, much less caught it. But I sure the fuck did. When he said he was not coming back for another season and that he was only going to be using his light body, I'm like, okay, well, he knows hoodoo, hudan, the crafts, and so forth. So I'm like, okay, does he maybe just mean in that regard or is he speaking masonry? Like that he's only going to speak maritime? And then I was like, no, the gates are open. Because right now, Aldebaran, the Death Star, is up. Um, the exit, which is Capricorn, is open right now. The portal. So the death portal's open, in other words. So this article here from January 21st, 2022. So 121222. Kevin Gates reveals he planned to kill himself in 2020. Fans changed his mind. Man, I about to kill myself, the rapper said. He also shared he had written a letter. Man, I've been praying for him for a while because I've seen the signs. And I hate that people <clears throat> make fun of his, or not make fun, but make light of his previous abuse because he was a victim as a child of sexual abuse. And oftentimes, unfortunately, men's abuse gets overlooked because they say it's... For some reason, some people think it's not as uh, relevant, valid, whatever, which is wrong. It is just as valid. It does not matter. Abuse is abuse. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. So let's see. Rapper Kevin Gates has never shied away from his mental health struggles and now reveals that he had contemplated killing himself in December 2020. I'm still wondering. I... I I'm praying for him. I really am. In a new interview on Big Facts with Big Bank, DJ Scream, and Baby Jade, the artist said that he planned to end his life and even wrote a letter. The rapper credits a fan for changing his mind. Gates, who deactivated his Instagram from December 10th, 2020 to December 12th, 2022, said that was a difficult time for him. Okay, so still is, I'm sure. See, I don't do the man I'm about to kill myself. I don't want no attention, he said, speaking to the host during the interview. I was going the way of the samurai, just smash myself because I was at the point that I ain't want to live no more. I feel you because I feel that way sometimes myself. But I, I don't have a death wish, but I do get it with the MK Ultra programming. If you have a green light program that's been activated, that means that that's activated your um, death programming, Omega programming. The cartel swag artist said that before de deactivating his IG, he headed to Cabo and put on a birthday party for his daughter. Yeah, man, I, this is... This, I, I, he post he posted a video of him holding and rocking her, believing it would be the last time seeing her. That shit's hard to hear. People think that just because these people are famous that they have it made, or they think they could just judge them and say, shame on you, and, oh, this shouldn't be done that way. They could look at you and judge, but are these people really helping anybody? No most times they're not. Sadly, most of these people in their lives either have fans who adore their music but don't see their personal life, or they have handlers who are controlling the business and then don't want them to have anything outside of that, hold them to all kinds of contractual obligations, have them see doctors that put people on medications to make it easier, to make you more malleable to the programming. So I could understand it gets very tiring. When asked what pushed him to the point, the 35-year-old said he was unhappy, was under a lot of pressure to be a provider, and didn't feel like he was being celebrated at home, but 
tolerated. As men, when you are a provider and you're not feeling like you're celebrated in the proper manner, you feel like you're only being tolerated. When I was in the streets, I used to hate going home because I felt like I wasn't welcome there. Y'all act like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be. Y'all act like I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing, he said, adding, we so busy being tough and harboring all these resentments and emotions and that shit we deal with. The pressure was on top of my head. I was like, man, I quit. Man, don't quit. Gates, don't open them demons, them demon gates. I, I bind those demons of death. Thank you. No, you know, and what's bound on earth is bound in heaven. So Matthew 17, 17, you know, and like as above, so below. So no, no, Kevin, I'm going to keep praying for you. And I'm sure many others are as well. Returning from the trip, Gates said that he, plan he penned a letter before heading to the gym. I had a raw letter that I wrote about everything, he said. I was just saying, I don't regret nobody I ever stepped on. If I, What? <laughs> no, that's what he said. Okay. I don't regret nobody I ever stepped on. If I did, your mama ain't raised you right. Oh, shit. I was... Okay, I see your point. I was... Oh boy, I was about how I've been in love before and had my heart broken. How the first woman to ever break my heart was my mother. Oh God, that hurts. And the only woman to ever love me was my grandmother. See, that's hard when your heart's broken by your first love. And if it's your parent, that sets a un unhealthy pattern so that this could often just continue to repeat. I'm really praying for him. After completing his workout, he said he put on his jewelry, looked at himself in the mirror as he was leaving the gym. A fan approached him. White boy walked up to me. Kind of big. I, I see him there a lot, he said. Can I approach you? He like, man, your music is the only thing that makes this crazy world make sense. I was like, Man, the world's a cruel place. Trust me, I know, said Kevin. That was when, that was then. Fuck, I'm, I can't even, I can't even read, but that's not shocking. Y'all know I be stuttering all over the fucking place, stuttering Stanley. But whatever, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. That was then that he spoke with the fan and shared that he was going to kill himself. He cried and he grabbed me and he said, if you do that, so many people are going to take their own life because you all, you got, fuck, because you all got, fucking shit, because you all we got. See, look, I, I can't even, oh, did you all we got. This shows you how God works through people, Gates continued. I said, you know what? I guess I'll stick around a while. It's true, though, man. A lot of people uplift and help one another. We all save one another daily. We save one another by being kind. We save one another by saying, hey, brother, how are you? You save another person by smiling. You save another person by simply acknowledging their existence. You don't leave people behind. You don't throw them to the side. You don't make assumptions just have compassion, people. Have compassion. Following the encounter with the fan, Gates said that he gave himself three days to consider his next move. He chose to head to Puerto Rico to reconnect with himself. When I disconnected my Instagram and stopped making comparisons to my life and other people's highlight film and just started living for me and really appreciating the good things about myself, and love what you have, and and have all that you need, and really engaging with myself in the world. That's what really shook me all the way, he said. If I only help one person with my story, with everything I've been through, then I've served my purpose. Kev, I'm really rooting for you, because I heard you loud and clear on the Instagram. I, I don't know if I messaged you. Uh, or not, I know I said something at the time because I heard that light body comment and that was just weeks ago. You said you were only going to use your light body and you weren't going to be reincarnating here. I heard it loud and clear. 
and I am praying and bridging the gap as much as I possibly can. You know, if more of us push out good energy, good energy, and and look out for one another, instead of looking at these people simply, simply as your entertainment form, and if you look at them as human beings, think of what we could do together. All right, everyone. Peace.